Module 3 will take us to discussions of recent technologies for forest fire management, particularly in the Republic of Korea. This module will showcase the National Fire Danger Rating System, Forest Fire Situation Control System, Helicopter Operations, Mechanized Suppression System, Utilization of Big Data for Forest Fire Danger Rating System, and High Tech that are being implemented by the Korea Forest Service. The Korea Forest Service has always been at the forefront of technology enhancements and innovations in forest fire management. Through the years, KFS has pursued a cross-sectoral approach in the improvement and implementation of forest fire management as part of its disaster management policy. Forest fire management organizations have been gradually expanded to establish national systems to respond to and suppress forest fires. In 2015, the Republic of Korea hosted the 6th International Wildland Fire Conference, where the Pyeongchang Declaration on Fire Management and Sustainable Development was adopted. The conference appeals to the international community to consider two tiers of responses. One, international policies and concerted action, and two, the capacity of nations to address the challenges in fire management. As one of the prime movers of the Asian Forest Cooperation Organization, a FOCO, Regular training on community-based forest fire management has been organized every year at the Afoko Regional Education and Training Center, or RETC, in Myanmar. The training aims to enhance the understanding of community-based forest fire management, sharing the knowledge and experiences of best practices for forest fire management among Afoko member countries, and strengthening the capabilities of officials based on advanced forest science technology. Until now, with Korea's advanced IT technology and intensive forest fire research, there has been great progress in the development of a system for preventing and dealing with forest fires. The Korean Forest Fire Information System, the main programs are the National Fire Danger Rating System, the Forest Fire Situation Control System, Aerial Fire Suppression by Helicopters, and the mechanized suppression system. We will also briefly introduce the three-dimensional forest fire danger forecasting system using big data and some new advanced technology. Korea's main forest fire management system is the forest fire danger rating system. This system contributes to minimizing the frequency and burned areas of forest fires by providing warning levels in advance. It also helps fire managers to make decisions in the efficient deployment of fire monitoring personnel and suppression resources. This system was developed in 2003 with two major improvements. It has been in daily fire control operations since then. For the real-time forest fire danger rating system, weather and geographical components are reflected to provide a forest fire danger rating index score from 1 to 100 via the internet and mobile services. The information retrieved is shared to municipalities, the Korea Meteorology Administration, the Ministry of National Defense, the Central Accident Management Headquarters, the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasure Headquarters, Korean Broadcasting System, Korean Electronic Power Corporation, and other institutions related to forest fires. The mobile application on forest disasters also provides information, including forest fire danger levels, forest fire reporting, and guidelines on responding to forest fires to the public. During the forest fire precaution period or in case of a high risk of forest fires, the regional forest service offices and local governments hire forest fire patrols in Korea. Forest fire patrol staff members are assigned respective areas of responsibility. The priorities for patrolling are restricted zones and mountains, major mountain trails, and forest fire-prone areas. GPS-attached fire reporting terminals are supplied to patrol staff. The fire reporting terminal is connected to the forest fire situation control system to take orders and reports and confirm their locations. An incentive and penalty scheme is also in place for thorough management. It is very difficult to understand and control the entire situation at the forest fire site because of the number of firefighters and available resources in operation simultaneously. In particular, in the event of a large fire, it is important to share information 
about the fire situation with all relevant agencies that jointly work for suppression for initial action. For this purpose, the Korea Forest Service and the National Institute of Forest Science established the Forest Fire Situation Control System based on spatial information for joint responses between the commanding center and the relevant agencies participating in suppression. The most overlooked aspect of fighting forest fires is communication. It is vital that the proper authorities be notified as soon as possible when a fire occurs. Obviously, a fire that is detected in its early stages will be much easier to extinguish than a fire that has been burning for some time but has only just been discovered because of a lack of communication. Once a fire has been detected, the firefighters must be transported to the fire and apply suppression methods. In order to share accident information between a control tower and the field, exact and appropriate field information is required for decision-making in emergency situations. The fire situation control system can apply to all stages of fire management such as fire prevention, fire suppression, and post-fire management. At the stage of forest fire prevention, the system provides forest fire danger rating services, monitoring information, the fire danger index map, and GPS information of forest fire location. For fire suppression, the system distributes information on fire detection via satellite, predicts fire spreading, collects suppression images, analyzes the infrastructure around a fire, and shares such information with local offices and relevant agencies. When suppression is completed, the system provides support for reporting fire damage. This is a screen for a manager. In the Forest Fire Situation Control System, information on cultural assets and their locations, dangerous facilities and freshwater areas, along with the current forest fire situation, is displayed. There is also a function that allows one to view all the information about forest fires in detail. Since the 1980s, there has been increasing difficulty in suppressing fires with only manpower and manual equipment due to the accumulation of flammable materials in forest. As the Republic of Korea has many mountainous areas that are difficult to access, fire suppression is a time-consuming and labor-intensive activity. This makes fire suppression by air through the use of the helicopters more efficient in early stages. Aerial suppression by helicopter begins from the reporting of a fire. When the central or local forest fire prevention countermeasure headquarters confirms the fire reported, the integrated command headquarters of forest fire sites is notified and helicopters are mobilized. The helicopters give information on the fire situation to the Integrated Command Headquarters of Forest Fire Sites when they arrive on site. The headquarters then comes up with an aerial suppression strategy, and full-scale suppression is carried out from the direction of the fire spread. After the main fire is suppressed, one helicopter remains on standby at the site. Then the firefighters carry out the mop-up phase. With a mountainous forest terrain that has abundant steep slope and a low road-to-land ratio, fire suppression is highly dependent on aerial suppression using helicopters because of the poor conditions for ground suppression. Although aerial suppression can be very effective in putting out fires, it may not be able to extinguish them completely. Embers may remain in the thick layers of leaves, stumps, and rocks in the forest. Therefore, firefighting at the ground level is essential in the mop-up phase. In the past, there were difficulties in effective firefighting due to the lack of firefighters and new and well-functioning equipment. In the 2000s, more modernized equipment such as firefighting vehicles and fire pumps became available. Even if such equipment can improve the efficiency of firefighting, it may not be useful without teamwork and the trained firefighters 
who are able to operate the equipment appropriately. To complement this, the mechanized suppression system was introduced to help trained experts to suppress fires effectively and promptly, even at a long distance away from a fire. The system is equipped with small and medium pumps, as well as a firefighting vehicle to increase water supply capacity and enable it to supply water over a long distance by connecting with a hose. The system has advantages for executing diverse operational tactics depending on the scale of fires and equipment available. The major equipment of the mechanized suppression system includes water pumps, main hoses, and spray guns. And the supplementary equipment includes distributors, portable water tanks, branch hoses, and movable pulleys. A firefighting vehicle is also employed if necessary. The mechanized suppression system is operated in four steps. A preparatory check, installation of equipment, extinguishing activities, and finishing up. Each step consists of three processes. The first step of the preparatory check is to align all equipment and brief supporting staff about operational tactics and sequences. In the step of equipment installation, it is important to secure a water supply source. The pumps and hoses are connected to each other, and portable water tanks are also installed near the fire sites. In the extinguishing step, all supporting staff members are assigned specific tasks for firefighting, and the suppression work is performed in earnest. In addition, attack lines are established and mop-up activities are carried out. After confirming the extinguishing of smoldering fires, the equipment is collected and stored after maintenance work. This is an operational concept for joint aerial and ground suppression. The Korean government operates a National Forest Fire Danger Rating System to prevent forest fires. This system predicts and forecasts areas at high risk of forest fire occurrence by analyzing weather conditions such as temperature, humidity, and wind speed in real time based on the geographical conditions of each region, forest conditions, and forecast information from the Meteorological Administration. Accurately predicting forest fires based on big data can help 1. Provide a response system for preemptive forest fire forecasting. 2. Support decision-making for rapid forest fire forecasting. And 3. Analyze factors that influence forest fires. The National Forest Fire Danger Rating System in Korea disseminates information on forest fire risks every hour to each city, county, and district nationwide using topographic, clinical, and meteorological data. The system also makes a 48-hour forecast every three hours from 12 to 9 p.m. The Korea Forest Service newly established the Smart Forest Disaster Response Unit in 2019 to effectively respond to all types of forest disasters. Today, drones can also be used to release fire extinguishing agents directly in areas that are difficult to access. Through the use of drones, 20 liters of extinguishing fluid can be released with a 10-meter watering radius. Searches for firefighters in distress and the transportation of urgent relief goods are also conducted through drones mounted with searchlights. A survivor's location can also be accurately transmitted to the rescue team so that water, food, first aid medicine and blankets can be dispatched thereafter. A wearable robot is a device that measures an intense signal from the human body, controls the driving part and thereby improves the wearer's physical ability. A smart helmet is a functional and multi-purpose high-tech piece of equipment that combines helmet optimization design and design technology with Internet of Things, IoT sensors, and measurement technology. During forest fire suppression, a wearable robot can assist in maintaining an ideal working posture and walking speed, thereby helping to reduce fatigue in firefighters by alleviating muscle exhaustion in the fire zone. Intelligent smart helmets are equipped with a camera and voice call function to support rapid communication with the Forest Fire Control Center and other firefighters or field workers.